After building solid reputations with the Tractor Boys, the former Ipswich duo Matt Holland and Herman Horiderson are once again thriving in the Premiership and playing a key part in the Charlton success story. I've really enjoyed the season so far. I think for us to be sitting in fourth is uh, a terrific achievement. And, um, you know, I, I've been made captain as well this season, which has been a big bonus. And, um, no, I think the season's gone really well for us. Yeah, so far so good, you know, there's, a, there's a, still a long way to go and uh, every game is a, a hard game in the Premiership and, uh, you know, at the moment it's, uh, it's good stuff and just have to wait and see. Both players have clearly settled well into the Charlton setup. Watching them, it's hard to believe it's only their first season. The camaraderie within the current squad is obviously playing its part. I think that's probably one of the big key um, ingredients, really. What, you know, we, when we are at Ipswich, we, we qualified for Europe and... The secret in that year was that everyone worked for each other. It was a tight, close bunch, and uh, you know everyone got on really well. And I think it's exactly the same at Charlton. There's no one in the dressing room who, who you could say you dislike. You know, if you go to any walk of life, there's people you maybe don't get on with or, or whatever. But certainly here, it isn't like that, and it's good fun here. Yeah, yeah, definitely a big, big thing here. You know, it's a team spirit, and, and uh, you know, there's banter all around, and. Uh, so, you know, everyone looks forward to coming in. Matt Holland played over 300 games for Ipswich before joining the Addicts last summer. Now 29, the Ireland International is proving to be an inspirational captain. Absolutely, and, and you know, through the time at Ipswich, you know, he played every single game and, and, uh, and let, always leads by example, you know, he's very professional about everything and comes, comes in early and uh, on, on a match day, you know, he, nobody will work harder and, and uh, get as many tackles in, so... It's great to have him on your side. Herman Horiderson arrived in March of last year. Also 29, he signed outside the transfer window and the Iceland International had to wait five months for his debut. Herman's a terrific player and he's very versatile. He's good in the air, strong, powerful, great engine and he's been, you know, um, I think terrific for us this season. And, um, you know, when he's keeping someone like Chris Powell and, and Paul Konczewski earlier in the season out the side, then it just shows what a good job he's been doing. And the drinks are on me. <laughs> <laughs> the Addicts assistant manager Keith Peacock is a club legend with almost 600 appearances to his credit. He's very impressed by the manner in which the duo have settled. They probably admire what we do here and we admire exactly what they do because they're good professionals and you can ask them to do anything and they will do it for the good of the team. And so that, although they've got their own individual ways of playing, they're very much uh, team players and... Uh, both have been an influence for the good and in, in the Charlton Athletic side. Alan Kerbishley is working successfully on a very limited budget. He beat off fierce competition to sign Holland and Horiderson and both appreciate his astute managerial skills. People rate him and everybody has got great respect for him, but uh, there's always going to be them big clubs that they will get more attention. You know, big clubs with the big money and, uh, you know, with the pressure that follows that. Also shows how well he's done when, you know, other clubs are looking at him and trying to maybe get him as their manager, so um, for us it would be important to keep him. I think it would give him immense pleasure and um, there's a sense of achievement for him to, to lead a side out at 40,000 um, at Charlton in, the, in, in one of the European competitions and I think he still feels he can do that. To make that European dream come true, it's important that Charlton maintain their current momentum. The past two campaigns have seen them drop off the pace at a critical stage. It's an old cliche, but you do, you take each game as it comes and um, you know, people say, you know, what about this game coming up, what about this game coming up, but forget those, it's the next one that counts and it's getting three points in each game. Yeah, absolutely, you know, we can't look any further than that and, and you know, at the moment we're, um, we're, we're, we're fourth and, and we'll give it our best shot to try and stay there and then, you know, we'll just have to wait and see what happens. Just imagine it, Charlton in the Champions League. Now that really would make for a very happy valley.